Elder, but a Demon Gmod here, and today we're going to be talking about the Vampire Slayer himself, Simon Belmont. I did a Chrom video, I did a Cable video, people like them, so I thought let's keep going on with Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series, which by the way, I have actually never played a Castlevania game before, so there's probably going to be a lot of cool references in the sort that I don't recognize, but oh well, what can we do? So for today's video, just like the Chrome and K Rule videos, we're gonna be looking at the video footage we have so far of him and the screenshots, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you my thoughts and everything, and just basically give you a breakdown of what I think of Simon Belmont himself. We'll probably talk about Rich Rich Chur too because he's Necco Fighter Simon, which basically means he's pretty freaking identical to Simon. But we'll get to there when we get to there. Anyways, let's get this started. So first of all, let's look at his screenshots. I always start off with screenshots. Let's begin. So the first one we got here, I'm doing it in reverse order this time because I don't know why I'm just doing it. We have his cross, which I'm assuming, which I'm actually, no, not assuming, I'm pretty sure is his side B. Which works a lot like a boomerang, however, unlike the other boomerangs we have in this game, like, uh, let's say, like, Link. Actually, Link has a regular boomerang in this game, so I guess not, huh? He doesn't have the uh, Gale boomerang anymore like he does, because he doesn't. he's not Twilight Princess Link anymore. So, the cross, from what I've seen, it only goes straight, it doesn't go, like, up, down, you can't, like, direct or anything, it only goes straight, left and right. However, it does the same damage for the entire move, and it looked kind of strong too. It actually launched people for a decent distance, so that's kind of nice. So, and he can also move while the boomerang or the cross, I guess you could say. I'm gonna just say I'm gonna try and say cross. If I say boomerang, I apologize. I'm just used to boomerang. See, so yeah, when he throws the cross, it has the same damage for it the entire time it's out, and Simon can be running around while it's going out, and that's pretty good. You can probably do some ledge traps with that. You can probably set up for some combos with that because you can combo off projectiles pretty easy from this cross thing it looks like so all around it looks like a pretty solid move it should it should be a very nice uh, move in his toolkit all right so next up this is the holy water it looks pretty funny i like how they had the two of them drinking that's a nice little fun screenshot now the holy water itself we'll get we'll see footage of it later but the holy water looks kind of underwhelming to me for what i've seen but we'll see we'll talk more about that later but anyways nice screenshot Alright, so here we have the up special. This is the axe. He chucks it, it goes straight down. Unfortunately, it doesn't spike. If it spiked, that would have been hilarious. I think it would have been a really cool spike move. It also would have been really scary if it threw it right, like, right as it goes past the ledge. Could have been a cool spike move, but you know what? It'd probably be kind of busted, so I understand why it's not. This is his neutral lead, not his up special. I should mention that. I forgot his up special is the uppercut. They picked a random uppercut, which I don't think is a reference to anything in his games. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, Castlevania fans. And overall, it didn't look too impressive, it just looked like a nice little projectile you can throw. However, if it does kill, then it can be kind of nice to throw off stage. If it does actually kill people, then that's kind of nice. But overall, it didn't really look too crazy, it looked kind of underwhelming to me. Here we got Simon, he's got a richer alt, which is pretty interesting. I like this alt, it looks pretty nice. Just kidding, it, it's pretty nice, that probably means that richer probably has a Simon ult as well, but I like this alt, it's not bad. Alright, next up, this I'm going to assume is probably his down tilt. It looks like he's crouching down, he's doing his down tilt, where he probably whoops across the ground. And we don't have any footage of this, but I'm just going to say this looks like his down tilt. Actually, no, but isn't his down tilt, like, when he slides? Or is that his dash attack? No, his dash attack's when he's spitting the whip, so... What is this move, then? I guess we'll find out later, I don't actually know. Uh, and this just looks like a cool little pose of him. That doesn't look like anything too crazy going on, it just looks like a standard idle animation or something. So now before we go into the direct footage of him, let's go look at his little trailer here. Now, you guys know how I'm going to do it. Uh, no, go back. We're going to jump over to YouTube here, and then we're going to watch it on YouTube because the YouTube version is much easier to work with. So let us go load that up. All right. Now, you guys aren't going to be able to hear it while I'm actually watching the video here, but like the actual like remix they use for this is so amazing. I love the remix of Bloody Tears they have in this game. It's so good. Anyways, that being said, let us watch the video, and I'm going to slow it down here, and we're going to talk about everything we see. So, that being said, sorry for the little bit of setup, guys. I'm a professional YouTuber here. <laughs> and with that, let's begin. Okay, maybe two... Okay. Actually, no, this should be fine. Alright, so here we got the holy water, and I'm going to pause it here. We're going to pause and go throughout the video while we're going through the video. I just said the same thing twice. I'm stuttering a lot. <laughs> This is the holy water, but as you can see here, it doesn't actually launch Wario anywhere at the end of the move, so it does look like it can combo out of stuff, but it doesn't look like it has anything launching, so it's not quite like Arc Fire like a lot of people are making it out to be. It looks like it does damage, and it looks like it just lets them go afterwards, so it looks like a lot more like, it's like a mix of PK Fire and Arc Fire, because you throw it like Arc Fire, like it moves like Arc Fire kind of, 
Except it has a lot better of a hitbox because it stays low to the ground, unlike Arc Fire, where it kind of misses the ground sometimes, where people can just duck under it or just get miss it. Like, it just whips entirely. Which sucks. But this looks a lot more reliable. However, it doesn't look like it launches people at the end. But as you can see, Simon does what looks like a dare into a up B. That's his up B, the uppercut. And his dare looks like it's going to be really good for combos, as you can see here. It may just be the percent, but it looks like it's built to do combos, which... Any move that's built to do combos on Smash Bros. is really good at doing combos, so that looks promising. And his, and his uppercut launches him decently far, so it looks like his uppercut does have some kill power to it, which is nice. Alright, this is huge. This screenshot right here... This is crazy. He's doing his forward air, but he's angling it downwards. This guy has a fair that can be angled. Do you know how crazy that is? There's no other character like this. This basically means that you can pressure people with your forward air from a full hop, from a short hop, from whatever you want. You just angle it down at them, and they can't really... Like, you, you can just face that thing so easily. And I think it's safe to assume that Simon's whip is going to have a tipper effect, where, like, the, the, the edge of the whip, like a little spike ball, is going to do more damage than the actual, like, chain itself. So, this is going to be a really good spacing tool. Simon's going to be one of the really, like, a really good zoner. Like, it's going to be incredible with Simon, so... The fact that you can angle this up and down as you're going to see up later, really incredible. So as you can see, he he tilts it upwards in this moment right here, like he angles it upwards. Which this can be nice because this means you can shark people from above you, so like someone above you, but also keep very far away. You don't have to do an up air to juggle them, you can kind of shark them with a forward air and just charge at them. Very nice. And as you can see here, he can tether recovery, which makes sense. It's a whip. He should be able to tether recover, but that helps his recovery. Because overcut looks a little lackluster. That's the down tilt all his top key build. Now, this down tilt here looks really slick. It looks like a cloud down tilt where, like, it starts with a slide and then ends with a kick. The kick part's, like, just slide. Like, the slide part reminds me a lot of cloud. However, it looks like... I want to say that both parts have a hitbox to it that probably combo into each other. I don't think the first part doesn't have a hitbox or else that'd be a little awkward to use. But if this move like combos into each itself and also ducks under stuff like that, that could be really useful. That's a pretty nice down tilt. Looks pretty quick too. Now this move right here, this part I'm going to assume is his jab because we haven't really seen anything that looks else like a jab. This jab as we see, he spins it around and not only can he use it for gimping somewhat, but he can also use it to block projectiles as we're going to see later. So this jab looks really nice. It doesn't look like your like normal jab, however. It doesn't look like a, like it's not it, it's not gonna work like your normal jab. It seems. Could could be a sword tilt too. We don't know. And then this is the foul smash, which is sending Bayonetta to the shadow realm where she belongs. It's kind of cool how they chose Bayonetta because she's like a witch. And that's kind of something you expect from Castlevania. And there you go, there's your Simon Belmont footage. Overall, just for this alone, he looks really promising. Looks like probably going to be the best zoner or one of the best zoners in the game. So, he's looking pretty promising just from that alone. And now that being said, I'm going to cut away and I'm going to go over and get to the other footage from the direct itself. Alright? Hey folks, so you guys we are just back with the actual trailer footage when Simon Belmont was released. By the way, amazing trailer. The CGI is so well done in that trailer. But now that being said, let's look at Simon Belmont in this one as well. Let's see if we get anything new out of this. So that looks like a taunt right there. That like that that just looks like flat out like a taunt. Now this right here, we can we already expected this if Simon's in the game. His whip attack, it's the longest reaching forward smash in the game, besides projectile like Mega Man's or maybe Duck Hunts. It looks it's actually nah, it probably outranges Duck Hunts. This forward smash, it's going to be amazing. It's a really good call-up move. If anyone's doing anything stupid, you can just whip them through it. If it goes through some projectiles, that's going to be incredible. Because you see someone about to throw a projectile, you just whip them from across the stage and hit them. So, another really good zoning tool, as to be expected, from Simon Belmont. This is the axe. As you can see, it launches them upward. If that thing spiked, that would have been a terrifying thing for off-stage gameplay. But yeah, overall, the axe doesn't look to anything too crazy. There's this down air into a forward air. So yeah, there's a, nothing too crazy. Now, as you can see here, this thing is going right through Mega Man's projectiles. This basically means that you can't really, like, assuming it goes through most projectiles, that means you can't really camp Simon, can you? You He can defeat all your projectiles, and he can keep you zoned out with his. So he's going to be an amazing camper slash zoner character, and he's going to be scary. He's going to be really scary. He's looking really good. This is a grab into a down throw. 
There's his cross. As you can see, he can run around while it's going for a, pre for a pretty decently good amount of time, so that looks pretty good. Here's his final smash again. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same footage from his other trailer, so literally the exact same thing. All right, there we got his walk animation. It's so cool that they got it like exactly to be his walk animation. And then here we got here we got his little fight with Dracula. We saw a roll there, but it looks like like a pretty decent like standard roll. And everything else about this looks pretty like whatever. So like this is all CGI. Really good CGI. Don't mind me. Like don't mind me when I'm saying whatever. Really good CGI. It looks amazing. These guys had an amazing reveal. Probably the coolest looking reveal of all Smash history. My favorite personal reveal is probably either Robin or King K. Rule. But, really good reveal. So anyways, now we're going to move on to Richard over here. And Richard, he's a fighter, so we can take stuff from Richard and apply it to uh, Simon. So there's their dash attack. They both use that move. Looks like a pretty standard dash attack. Oh wait, actually, one second, one second, one second. Let me go back for a second. I think we just saw it. Yeah, as you can see there, his first part of his down tilt, or both their down tilt, they have a hitbox, so that's really nice. Okay, good. That's really nice. Got a taunt, it looks like. There's a loot card, rip for people who wanted him. And there you go. That is Richard and Simon Belmont in Smash Brothers. A dream come true, baby. There, I know there's a lot of people who are really freaking happy about this, and even though I wasn't a fan, of, like I, even though if I haven't played Castlevania myself, they are pretty cool characters. I'm not even gonna lie, they are really cool characters, and I'm happy they're here. They're gonna be annoying as heck to fight, but I'm actually really interested in playing them myself. They look super fun. They look really cool. They also look really good. So they look they're looking really strong right now. So best of all the worlds, basically. And I guess while we're here, we're not gonna watch the footage for Richard because it's. Probably, it's not really going to give us anything because Echo Fighter, but let's look at some of the screenshots while we're here. Why not? First of all, we got this. I'm assuming this is an idle pose. He's probably like readying his whip to attack or something. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this looks like a taunt or another idle pose. I can't tell. There we go. His down tilt. Pretty standard stuff. We've already seen this enough. And he's being the crap of a poor child. Richard, calm down. Jesus. <laughs> and then this screenshot. Oh, I love this screenshot. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! And he just attacks the Pikmin with a flower. <laughs> what happens when you get... What happens when you go from T-rated to E-rated? <laughs> and in this level, we got a red of Richard. I like this. I like this red. This is a nice red. You know, it's not too bright. It's it's just a nice, modest red. Pretty good red. I like it. Good red. And yeah, that being said, we have looked at all the screenshots. And we've looked at all the footage that I'm going to look at. Because, again, Richard's footage isn't really going to do it much any good. It's going to be the same thing as Simon, basically. But yeah, that's going to be uh, my look at Simon and Richard. What do I think of them so far? I think they are going to be really strong zoning characters. They got power, they got range, they got projectiles, they got a way to counter projectiles. They're going to be really deadly zoners, and I think they're going to be pretty good. Honestly, I can see them definitely being high tier. Honestly, I don't see them being like broken or anything, but I can definitely see them being really up there for one of the best characters. And honestly, I think they deserve it. They're pretty legendary characters, and they're really cool by design, so... I'm happy they're here, and I'm happy they're gonna looking pretty good. So yeah, with that being said, I think that's all I gotta say on Simon and Richard Belmont. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like on the video if you really did enjoy, helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe to stay tuned for some more Smash Bros. Ultimate news, and I'll be seeing you guys for the next Nintendo Direct, which is probably happening next week after the delay. My prayer goes out to all the people in Japan, by the way, that this is messed up. They had a typhoon and an earthquake, that's, that's just messed up. It's really messed up. They, they, they don't deserve it. They're such nice people. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next week most likely with a direct. See ya.